Hello everyone, um, welcome back. I'm here today with Miguel from Nova Space. Uh, Miguel, can you introduce yourself? Absolutely, uh, so my name is Miguel Alvarez. I'm the Chief Revenue Officer for Nova Space. Uh, we are a brand new company, and I'm gonna be bold enough to say that we are the only company that is focused on human capital and space industry because we are providing a professional development pipeline for the entire space industry because we recognize over the past year and a half we've been, we've been developing our content is that, as we all know, there is a skills gap in the United States and global, right? Uh, for people that are really true professionals in the space industry and understand the space industry. We know there's a skills gap, we know that there's an aging workforce, mm -hmm. and we know that uh, our current model of training and education mm -hmm. is just not pumping out people fast enough to fill the growing demand that we're gonna see in the future. Okay, so um, everybody, um uh, should know now that space industry um, is a future list is used to be not anymore right now space industry is happened is is will be um, very normal for for the next um, um, decade because people want to live in space people want to work in space people want to travel in space and people want to go to deep space they want to get exploration um, there's a lot of um, uh, small business startup yes. company in the space industry so can you tell me more a little bit more about your human capital because it's a very interesting subject and I want to be able to understand uh, exactly what your company does absolutely so I'm gonna start off by saying that it's no longer a space industry right yeah it's a space yeah. ecosystem yeah right all right that's the right word for it it's, yeah, it's a great yeah. word for yeah. it and, and the reason I say that is because there's a perceived notion um, or a perceived barrier to entry into the space industry in that most people think that you need to be a rocket scientist mm -hmm. or an aerospace engineer to do anything in the, in the space industry and that's just not the case okay. right we need disciplines from all walks of life mm -hmm. we need a diverse workforce that has been trained in various disciplines mm -hmm. and they all have something to contribute to the space ecosystem and the way we do it is through asynchronous and virtual training mm -hmm. that we've developed but it's not your training that you have been accustomed to. It is not a slide deck presentation or a set of lectures that we present to you via video, but it is an interactive course, right? That places you, the individual, in the environment so that you can experience the things that you're going to experience in the industry, right? Yeah. So that you can work through a problem, collaborate with your colleagues, and make mistakes in a safe environment and learn from those mistakes because as human beings that's how we yeah, learn yeah, right yeah. so I if i can summarize quickly what we do instead of just giving you content mm -hmm. and leaving it up to you to figure out what to do with it oh, and, and, and how it applies to your life in the industry mm -hmm. what we do is we make the connection between the knowledge and there the you context go. there you go there you go so because it's very important miguel has mentioned to me earlier but i want to repeat it this is his word not me um if there's this a guy who who a rocket scientist who working in a, in the space industry for oh, for 15 20 years and you want to bring somebody in that person doesn't know anything about space industry yes and but the previous person who had 15 20 years experience they cannot sit next to the new guy and show them every little thing yes so now how can how can that um, experience 20, 20 years 15 20 years experience transfer to a new young generation because what happened is if you have to invest a lot of money for a new guy to get that experience it costs your company money and it doesn't have any production but by the time they learn everything from you they they don't want to work for you anymore because it's too long they, they want to move on with another company you just hit the nail on the head <laughs> we are in the business of of enhancing an organization's recruiting, training, and retention efforts. Yeah. Because we all recognize that people that understand space and technology, they're a scarce resource. Yeah. There's not that many of them, yeah. right? Yeah. So what, what do companies do? They take from each other, uh -huh. right? So if you're recruiting for a, let's say a mechanical engineer that is that has space experience, well now you just narrowed the aperture of people that are available to come work for your company, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. What we call unicorns, mm -hmm. right? Well, why look for the unicorn when you can just create the unicorn yourself, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So 
what we do is we take, let's say, a software engineer, highly sought after in the space industry, right? Mm -hmm. And we take that software engineer, and maybe he doesn't know anything about space. Maybe he took one class in college and understands that what rockets do, right? Yeah, yeah. Fine. Mm -hmm. But you're going to hire him, mm -hmm. and instead of putting him through an on-the-job training program, which mm -hmm. is going to take a long time, which is going to cost you money and mm -hmm. innovation, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. Because if you can now give him the knowledge, not the experience, but the knowledge yeah. of a 15, 20 year old systems engineer yeah. and give it to him right up front, yeah. well now he knows how to communicate with the rest, the rest of the senior engineers yes, yes, and yes. he knows the rules of the industry. Yeah, he yes. knows that's, how to, that's, he, that's very important right. um, to, to know the industry, to jump in the industry because um, it doesn't matter you get into the space industry or, uh, or any industry, if you have that much of um, information and technology delivery to, to your knowledge, add additional to your knowledge yes. in a short period of time that create values. Yes. And values is money. Yes. So you bring a value to the company and company pay you higher dollar right. um, to, um, to for the job. Yes. Because y yes, your real experience is not much, but your um, foundation education yes. experience is long. So it will balance out. Yes. And so let's use another example too, right? Mm -hmm. a, a lot of companies, a lot of startups in this industry rely on capital, yeah. right? Yeah. On contracts, yeah. on making a proposal to a either an investor or a larger company mm -hmm. to get some work to accomplish your goals and visions, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what if you can tell in your proposal and you can let an investor know or let a, another larger company know that, listen, we can do the work and oh, by the way, every single one of our employees understand the space industry yeah. because yeah. we train them, mm -hmm. they're credentialed, mm -hmm. and it's our workforce and we're going to retain them. And guess uh -huh. what? What does retention do for you, yeah. right? Yeah. If you have increased retention rates, mm -hmm. now you can hire from within. Mm -hmm. So now you have somebody that you can that can potentially stay with the company for 20 years and you've trained them. Yeah. So right. um, it took you over a year to, your company over a year to develop the technology, um, the yeah. platform. Um, so yes. now, are, is this a final product, or are you still looking for investor? Or? No. So th th this is this is what we're doing. So we have okay. created our space professional course, which is available today. Okay. And All students right. can take it. Either organizations can purchase a contract, okay. or individuals can purchase it on an individual basis. Mm -hmm. And once they complete it, they receive a digital credential through Credly. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, we're a professional development company, meaning mm -hmm. that we want to provide the industry an entire pipeline okay. and roadmap for professional development in the space industry. So, we created our first course. Mm -hmm. Our next course is gonna be the Master Space Professional course, mm -hmm. which is gonna tackle higher level subjects such as the space economy, mm -hmm. space law, mm -hmm. geopolitics, yeah. space debris. See, with that, with that, anybody, any industry, it's not just only for space industry. Um, restaurant industry, hospitality industry, construction industry. If they want to get involved with the space, this is where where this is where you want to start. This is where you want to um, to um, uh, to to, uh, exactly. to work with because you have to know the, um, the you have to have a knowledge. But to get a knowledge, it takes too much time, and um, Nova Space will shortcut your time. Um, yes. To um, more than half, like three times, what, what uh, 20 times? So, so here's the thing, <laughs> we're not going to give you 20 years of experience, okay. but we're going to give you the knowledge. We're going to package there you go. it, there you go. There and you go. we're not just going to dump information in your lab uh -huh. for you to figure out. Uh -huh. We're going to put you in that experience, and we're going to make you go through the experiences that someone with 15 or 20 years of experience yeah. has to go through. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to learn from your own mistakes, but yeah. you're going to see what they go through, and now you can communicate better with the rest of the team, Yeah. right? And that's our approach. So now, um, we have limited time here today, mm -hmm. but I would like to have a follow-up um, um, videos um, for you to share a screen Absolutely. With, with my audience is how easy is this some sample yes. so people will get an idea of how your product is work mm -hmm. how, um, how how can you get um, the person who don't have experience from right. space industry into space industry because future space is very important because everything is, 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 is focused in space right now um, uh, otherwise Elon Musk not going to spend hundreds of millions of dollars right. exactly. for, for the space uh, Jeff Bezos doesn't yes. spend like uh, billion of dollars on the yes. space industry. So space uh, has become uh, very popular and, and, and something that um, it, it's, it, it's almost like um, having buying a house now because... Right. Yeah, because... Uh, and, and you know, the beauty <laughs> of it is that 
since we are becoming a space ecosystem, uh -huh. we don't know what we don't know. Yeah. Once we get to the point, like you mentioned, with Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos and all these billionaires making space accessible, right? That's where it starts. That's how aviation started, yeah. right? It started yeah. with billionaires and, and, and millionaires yeah. that created airline flights and, uh -huh. and, and, and flying. You know, we're, do, we're seeing the same thing with the space industry, right? So what are all the other industries that are gonna come out of nowhere yeah. from the space industry, yes, right? Yeah, and yeah. we're gonna need people that understand the industry. Yeah, and the so, yeah, so um, we're, gonna, we're gonna come back with another video uh, with Miguel and a very interesting subject, but um, I wanna show um, everybody how the subways work and how um, Nova Spay bring a value to your, invest, your investment or your business, and again, um, futures of space is growing really, really big um, because people will live in space again. Um, they will have um, a property mortgage in space too. Right. So, um, so it, it's, it's, it's time to invest and understand about space. Yeah. Even if you're not investing into it, your company uh, future plan or individual plan, individual um, uh, experience. Um, space is a subject that um, I think um, everybody um, suggests everybody need to know right. uh, for the future um, in yeah, environment. No, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and the takeaway from, from our product is that we are not we are not a slide deck presentation or a video lecture. Yeah. We developed content. Th that excited. That excited because. You d I mean, nobody want to watch a video to learn something. Nobody. nobody. That's not how even human beings even learn. Even myself. If human beings learn by doing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And making mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we want to expand. You know, I mentioned the master's course. We're also going to do a high school course. Uh -huh. we, re we recognize that, uh -huh. you know, high school education, there's a lot of hidden talent there. Mm -hmm. And we need to develop it. And we need to bring it up. And we need to let get them excited about it. Yeah. And I think a course like ours can augment their high school education and really bring them on board to, to yeah, join the space yeah. ecosystem. Well, um, it's great to have you today. And Thank you. I would like to see you again Absolutely. on another videos. All Let's right.